Welcome to Rise and Shine, your daily business tech boost with me, Charlie Latham. If you're a small business owner looking to simplify technology and get real, actionable advice from someone with 35 years of IT experience, you're in the right place. Every episode, I'll dive into tools and systems like email, CRM, marketing and tracking, and I'll break them down into bite-sized tips you can use straight away. Your time is valuable, so let's get straight to the point. It's time to work smarter, not harder. Rise and shine. It's your daily dose of business tech inspiration with me, Charlie Latham. Episode number 561. We are going to be looking at Zoom and how you can invite people into your meetings. Now, some of this can be automated. Some of it can't be. It really depends on the system you're using. I'll go through them and then I'll give you uh, my preferred way of doing it. How's that sound? So I'm going to do a screen share. Let me bring up the right screen first. There we go. I'm going to do a screen share and uh, then we'll, we'll talk through some of the things that we've seen. So this is actually in response to a viewer question. It's a great question um, and it allows me to do these sorts of things. So if you've got questions like these, please drop them in the comments, send me an email, send me a DM, whatever. Um, come join my community, askcharliealetham.locals.com and I, you know, I might even make it into an episode. Who knows? All right, so let's get on with their screen share. This is my Zoom account. I have logged in on the web uh, using using the web interface. This is actually going to push me through to the desktop version when I when I start a meeting, but that's okay. It's it's basically the same on both desktop and and web. We we're just going to work through it. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a meet now meeting. So we're going to host a meeting straight away and then I'll show you how you can invite people into using different methods and I'll show you a method that I really, really like. So let's start with um, the host meeting here. Uh, once you log into your web, web interface or into your account, over on the right-hand side, you've got schedule, join or host. We're going to host a meeting. We're not going to join it. It's going to ask me to open up my Zoom meetings. And as soon as I do that, it's going to start recording it. And it's going to try and use my video. So we're turning the video off because it's taken so I can do this podcast. And as soon as I open it, it's going to start recording it. We're start recording in progress. We're recording stopped. We have stopped the recording. There we go. Okay, so now I have my meeting. I'm sitting here. I'm waiting for people to come and join me. How do I invite them? Well, there's a couple of ways we can invite them. The first one is uh, to send in, go to, go to the participants menu here. And when you click on that, you get this little pane up on the right-hand side. And you've got this option to invite. Now, if you don't want to have this pane up and you close it down, if you just go to this little arrow right next to participants and click it, you can copy the invite link or you can invite people. If we invite people, if you've got contacts in your in, in your contact list, it will it will let you invite them. <sighs> Otherwise, go across to the email tab here and you see you've got options, default email, Gmail or Yahoo Mail. Default email will take up whichever will pick up whichever client you've got installed as your default email. Now that causes me problems because I run a couple of different programs. I don't actually have a default email, so I'm not going to even worry about that one. But if you click on that one and you've got Outlook installed on your computer, it will automatically run up Outlook and let you send these invites. If you choose Gmail or Yahoo, uh, it will log you into your accounts and let you send the email. So I'm going to use Gmail. I'm not going to use Yahoo because I don't actually have an active Yahoo mail account. I'm going to click on that and that then does a few things. We just got to wait while it loads up because I'm already logged into Google here, right? I'm already logged into my Google workspace. Uh, this works with Gmail as well, a standard Gmail account. It will log you into a standard Gmail account and you'll see that it's pasted the content automatically into your email here. Uh, all you need to do is uh, up in the address bar, you can choose who it's coming from. Uh, if you've got multiple addresses assigned, like someone does, me, and then you can type in the email address of the person that you want. 
and you'll see that it actually picks it up from my address book of all the things I've got in my address book so I can just choose it and once you've chosen the number of people uh, you can send them to the two you can send them if you want you can do a cc or you can do a bcc now here's my recommendations if you're going to do this and you're going to invite more than three or four people Put them in the well in fact if you're going to invite people and you don't know if they know each other put their addresses in the bcc it just protects their anonymity their their privacy a little bit more i'm just going to send it to acl support and what will happen is this well i'm not going to send it <laughs> this is going to come into my email when it goes uh, i'm going to get this link that i can click on it's got all the information i need in it and i can join the invite so that's how you send an invite using i'm just going to close that window down yep I've got to get the right window back up to many damn windows here we go so that's how you can send an invite using your email clients here now uh, let me come back and have a chat to you guys now some of you are going to say but charlie we use outlook now if you've got outlook um m365 microsoft 365 and it's a business account you can actually install an integration and i'm not going to go through how to do that today but you there is an integration you can actually install it into your calendar on google and you can invite people straight from Google uh, from, from your Microsoft calendar what Outlook doesn't allow you to do or what Microsoft doesn't allow you to do is to do what we just did using outlook.com so if you've got a personal Outlook account I'm sorry the only other way we're going to do it which is the next method which is to copy and paste the invitation into your email client itself so I'm going to do that next and then I'm going to show you how I've integrated it into my Zoho mail and so that we can send invites straight from my Zoho calendar uh, the method that I use from Zoho is basically the same that I use that you could is very similar to the one that you can use with your m365 account but if you're not running an M365 account, you're just going to have to do this next method, the manual paste and copy and paste. So what I am going to do is share my screen again. And we are actually going to log into our Outlook, my, my Outlook account. It should just log me in if I'm right. Yep, it's just going to log me into my Outlook account. So this is just an Outlook.live account. It's a personal account. Uh, I don't have any option to integrate Google in, I'm um, sorry, Zoom into it. Now, the way to handle it if you're using Outlook or Live or um, Hotmail, Hotmail is the other one. They're all owned by Microsoft. They all use this same interface. What we need to do is come down to our meeting here, click on the invite link and say, just click on invite. Now you can copy the invite link or you can copy the invitation. Click on copy invitation. Come back to your Outlook client. Get rid of that. We don't need that. Click on new mail and then in the in the in the content box, paste your invite in. It's the same. Let's go away. It's the same invitation that's sent automatically out of Gmail or yahoo mail you've just got to copy and paste it in it's not as elegant i agree you can choose whoever you want to send it to from your uh, email client uh, from your from your to list you can type in the address you can put in a subject line whatever you want it to be you click send and it will go that is how you would you would need to do it using outlook now for those of you who i have convinced to go to use um zoho mail if you log in with your account so this is my zoho mail account uh yep good i'm in the right place and you log in with your admin account on your zoho mail uh you can then go to your settings bar here you only need to do this once on zoho mail go to settings no nope, i'm wrong you come up to your profile and click admin console i'm just going to block it it always does that to me 
Once you're in your admin console, you can come down to, um, let's just do a quick search for it, shall we? Uh, integrations, I think it is. There we go. Go to integrations and extension settings. There we go. Is that where I want it to be? Yep. So uh, the way I found that, it was under other app settings. I just typed it into the search engine, but let's just do that again. Go to other app settings, extensions. Here we go. Um, I can allow people to uh, set it up, but under extensions here, I want to look for scroll down scroll down we're nearly there z-o-h-o -O. it's alphabetical zoom meeting see how i've got zoom meeting and it's disabled for all i can click on that and i can enable it so now that's going to go in uh take your chain collaboration who do i want to enable it for i'm just going to enable it for myself And we're just going to go to associated users and I'm going to add myself in here. There we go. Okay, so I've just enabled that for myself. You can, if you're running Zoho uh, and you've got multiple users, you can enable it for all users. I'm just enabling it for myself. What that then lets me do, now that I have done that, I'm going to um, go back to my mail window. Yeah, we're just going to get out of the admin console. We're going to come back to my mail window. And I'm going to come down to calendar. And if I click on um, calendar here and create a new meeting, you'll see I've got this add conference ability here in add a new meeting and I can actually choose Zoom meeting. So if you're using your Zoho client properly, you can, if you don't want to use the Zoho meeting that's automatically part of it, you can actually just use your Zoom meeting and, and create a Zoom meeting. And what that will do is when you add a participant in your participants list here, it will send out the Zoom link to them automatically. It's similar to how that works in Microsoft 365 as well. I just use Zoho meeting, that's all. Uh, Zoho calendar and Zoho products. So let me come back and have a chat to you guys. All righty. So a little messy. Um, I hope it gives you an idea of how you can invite your people from Zoom into meetings. If you're running Gmail or Yahoo uh, as standard, you'll be able to just use those buttons in the invite and it will send it through. If you're using something like Zoho, or a third party mail or outlook.com you're going to have to copy and paste the invitations into the mail window or you can install an integration like i just did with Zoho mail to actually have it integrate straight into your calendar and do it you can't do what i just did with Zoho on a personal outlook account though you do need to be running an m365 account to do it Hope that was useful to you guys. Uh, a couple of things that I think I just need to reiterate when you're sending out emails to multiple people, potentially uh, it's good it's good etiquette to use the BCC unless, of course, they know each other and they know that you're going to be inviting other people, then you can put them in the two or the CC line. Um, honestly, if you're sending it out to people who don't know each other, I would recommend using the BCC line. Uh, it, it just keeps their, their 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 privacy secure. They don't yeah, their email doesn't get sent out to a whole heap of people that they might not necessarily want to have that email address. Just think about it as you're doing it. But I hope that was useful to you. Uh, if if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments wherever you're watching or listening to this video. Come across to my community, askcharlieleatham.locals.com, and ask the question in there. Uh, if this video was useful to you, please give it a like, 
And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you find out when I drop more content. Thanks, guys. Bye. Hey there. Thanks so much for tuning in to Rise and Shine, your daily business tech boost. I hope today's episode gave you some actionable insights that will make your business tech work smarter for you. If you found value, be sure to subscribe, leave a review and share it with other small business owners who could use a daily boost. For more tips, tools and resources, visit www.askcharlieleatham.com. Until next time, keep rising, keep shining and let's make tech simple together.